Sylvain, say the famous words, please. We're at the Comet. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Congratulations, Andrea. Just quick, briefly for a moment, the two of you here right now. You just mentioned, you just said you never got it that clearly that Rosetta must be under pressure performing for us. <laughs> um, how do you explain such a clear signal? Is that just luck today? Well, I don't know. We've never seen the temperature of the thruster going so clean and so smoothly as today. So it's a fantastic result. Couldn't have been better. Now let's check the detailed performance of the maneuver offline. Okay, so Sylvain, you can't go back to sleep now. Now the work begins, correct? Exactly. And yeah, Rosetta was looking at us, knew that we were looking at her, so this is why she did it for us. Brilliant. Well, you deserve it. Congratulations. Congratulations to everyone here and people over there already hugging as well. But before I hand over to all those happy people, um, we have another little video for you because obviously Rosetta has uh, produced some surprises already, like the best or the clearest signal just now as well. And now that we're finally arrived at the comet, close to it at least, there'll be more surprises to come, I'm sure. So here's a look at some of the science that we can expect in the weeks and months to come. Rosetta is a scientific mission to understand the origin and evolution of the solar system. The 21 onboard instruments include sensors, spectrometers and cameras. Powered by solar panels that span 32 meters tip to tip, Rosetta is the first mission to completely rely on its solar cells for power beyond the main asteroid belt. These solar arrays, together with the antenna, must always point towards the Sun and the Earth. Located on the side of the spacecraft that will permanently face the comet are the instruments, such as the atomic force microscope, MIDAS. This is a very special type of microscope that is able to make very detailed three-dimensional images of, of objects that we collect. So our aim is to collect dust particles and then we build very high resolution three-dimensional images of these dust particles. Studying dust grains helps provide a bigger picture since many scientists believe these particles slowly coalesce to produce the building blocks of our solar system. The first dust particles are expected to be collected within weeks of arriving at the comet. The 11 orbiter instruments also include CONCERT. This is in two parts, one part on the orbiter, another on the lander, and together they will provide an insight into the comet's nucleus. This will be done by transmitting the uh, radio wave through the comet. This transmission will take place between uh, orbiter and lander. And from this, from the signal transmitted through the comet, we will uh, determine the properties of the interior. CONCERT will operate during the descent of the fillet lander to the comet's surface, examining its density and structure. The 10 lander instruments will measure everything from the comet's magnetic field to the mechanical properties of the soil. As the lander remains busy in one place, the orbiter will spend the next 18 months examining the comet from every angle, until this unique and groundbreaking mission ends in December 2015. <laughs>